Hey, it's Nooch, and we're going to talk today about how to spend on LEGO Star Wars Battles. And that includes uh, spending your crystals, spending your studs, and also spending your hard-earned cash that you use to keep a roof over your head and keep food on the table and keep your family happy. So let's look at all of that together, and we're going to start with what Nooch has been doing all week since the update. So the update came out on Monday, and we got a, a new dark side and light side epic and rare cards. We got the Tauntaun, we got the Ewok Glider. Let's take a look at those cards right now, and we're going to see what Nooch's progress was all week, and then we'll tell you how he got there. So we have uh, a level 6 Imperial Dropship, and we can look at that unit later, but what it does is it drops two Stormtroopers in on, at any point of the battlefield, and we have a level 5 Gamorrean, which guards towers. It stands around a tower and guards it. So, Nooch is able to get level 6 dropship and level 5 Gamorrean. And on the light side, uh, Nooch is able to get, and you see we're using the glider, a level 5 Ewok glider, which is like the dropship. It drops Ewoks, actually melee Ewoks. So it drops Ewoks on a tower and they start beating against it. Or anything, you beat, drop them on a sniper or whatever. And we got our Tauntaun to level 6. So you can see we got level five and six units, and we did that. Uh, we did that by spending about two thousand crystals this week. Now, why is that important? If we hadn't spent the crystals, they might be more like level three or four units, possibly. We're not sure. But what Nooch did all week was he took his two thousand crystals. It was somewhere in that range that Nooch had them. And now we don't have this boosted, so Nooch apologizes. Unfortunately, we've got we got places to go and people to see and things to do. So we're going to show you how we, we, we've been doing, Nooch has been doing instant unlocks all week. So you see the instant unlock right there for 54 crystals. And in this scan, there are 21 rare cards and it's light side. So a rare light side of those new cards would be a Tauntaun. So let's go ahead and spend the 54. This will be the last bit that Nooch spends out of this, uh, this crystal spend. And we did not get the Tauntaun. Let's go ahead and open up. We want to get those studs. That's a really important thing. And uh, 750 studs. Okay, we're not there yet. Come on now. Give us the studs. And we got them. So 750 studs. We didn't really want to spend the 50 to get them, although 50 for 750 is a pretty good trade-off when you look at, we'll look at the uh, actual spend here in a minute. So now Nooch could get his e walked up to 99 out of 100 for spending 50, which actually seems kind of worth it, but is it going to be worth like 100 plus? Well, we're spending all the rest of our crystals let's take a shot at there's our ewoks we're at 99 now if we had boosted the scan we'd have over 100 but nooch is too lazy because he wanted to get this video up for you people it's all about you the fans okay so what's been going on nooch has been spending his crystals all week about 2,000 crystals opening those scans like that except usually boosting them and kind of figured been saving them for a special occasion and kind of figured this was the right time to do it now let's talk a little bit about what, what, or how much to do. Well, first let's talk about how much do two thousand crystals cost you, money wise. Well, you can see here that fifteen hundred crystals cost you ten dollars American, and another six twenty costs you five dollars American. So it's about two thousand crystals is somewhere around fourteen dollars American. So over a two month period, which is able to save those two thousand crystals, so is able to get about a fourteen dollar value. So. It's not a huge spend for those of you out there. You might spend 14 bucks on a game very easily. Nooch has spent that on games before. If you go look at LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed, Nooch has already spent that on that game. Um, what is this value you get for that spend? So you can see right here on this page, if you were to spend uh, $49.99, you get 8,300 crystals, you could buy 100,000 studs. That's about an 8.3 to 100 ratio. And you can see that Nooch was going to be able to, be able to open 750 studs for 50, which is a, a 5 to 75 ratio. That's, a, that's better than 8.3 to 100. I'm not going to do any more math. Uh, so you get a little better ratio on the studs. So Nooch doesn't actually think that the crystals are a good spend on the studs right now um, because you do get a better ratio by opening the scans. But if you need a bunch of studs in a hurry and you're willing to spend it, you, you want to spend 50 bucks and get all those 100,000 studs, go for it. You'll be able to upgrade much, much quicker. If you want to save studs over time, Nooch is able to save up somewhere north of 2,000 over a two-month period. So then, And then was able to spend those studs opening up scans and trying to get these units. Now, you can also spend $60. Here you see a tactical mega bundle. 
So for $60, you can get 50 cards of each of the new cards. There's the Ewok Glider, the Tauntaun, the Imperial Dropship, and the Gamorrean Guard. So, actually $60. Did you say $60? $60 for 50 of each. So if you are a whale and that's what you want to do, this is probably the best package to buy. So make sure you get those those uh, cards up front because they're a little harder to come by down here in the shop and also by opening scans. Opening scans is completely random and the cards that you get here in the shop are also completely random. Although those new cards were thrown in and which is able to buy some Tauntauns and Ewok gliders in here as well with his coins or his studs. So Nooch has been able to use studs to buy units here and actually you see the epic card 10 epic cards for 100 crystals it's actually a really good value a really good value so that's a place that nooch is going to keep an eye on in the future when he's got a bunch of crystals saved up that 10 epic cards you can see that would be an upgrade for bb8 right now that seems like a really good place to spend those crystals and honestly spending the studs here may or may not be a good value i have to figure it out but with the new cards, Nooch was definitely spending studs to get those cards to get them leveled up. So we did some of that as well. Let's, Nooch is going to show you some more footage about, and should be running right now, um, to show you footage of boosting these scans and op opening them over the week to, to spend on them, spend those crystals, and, and, and get them open to get the cards more available. Now one thing you're going to notice with spending is you, you want to take into account the rareness of the cards. How many of these am I going to get? Are they readily available? And, and am I going to boost these as quickly as possible? So you did see that in this case, there's always a bundle to buy. You can buy a bundle and it's got cards in it. And this is the most cards Nooch has seen available. Th these four uh, brand new cards available for 50 each. That is a lot of cards. So this is a, that is a really solid bundle as far as for the bundles that Nooch has seen so far. Now, as Nooch was opening scans this week, it really seemed like, and you saw we opened the one and there were none of the new cards were in there. It seemed like they were had really low drop rates on them. But as the week went on, Nooch really kind of started understanding it's not that they have low drop rates, it's that there's more of them now. And let me explain what that means. So on the dark side, we have five epic cards. You can see here we've got BB-9, we've got uh, the Imperial Probe Droid, the Imperial Dropship, C2, uh, B5, is that what he is? C2, B5, and where's the last one? Oh, we skipped over the uh, the Riot Control Walker, otherwise known as ATSD. So we got five epic cards, and we have 10 rare cards. Not gonna go over all those. On the light side, we have seven epic cards, we have eight rare cards. So a week ago, we had one less of each of those. So we had four epic on the dark side, nine, etc. So now there are more of those available as cards. So as you open the scans, the more of those that are available, the less of them you're going to get in the scans. So if there are epic cards in your scan, let's say you have dark side epic cards in your scan. It used to be that there were four dark side epic cards, and now there are five. So you used to have a one in four shot of opening one of those cards with your scan when you saw there were epic cards in there. Now you have a one in five shot of getting an epic card in that scan once you open it. So take that into consideration when you're considering spending as well. And what'll happen over time is that as cards continue to be released, so if they release common cards, um, here, what, where's a common card here? We've got, uh, oh, that's a rare card, uh, but, uh, but, but, so the three porgs. So three porgs are a common card. So the, the cards come in four types or varieties at the moment. You got common, you've got legendary, which is your Luke and your Darth Vader. You've got the Epic, which is your Ewok Glider there, and you've got the Rare, which are your Ewoks there. So with these different kinds of cards, as more of those are released over time, so let's say we get an Epic card that is, oh boy, Nooch is, so we get a, we get a, a Mandalorian, that's an Epic card. And we get uh, one of, uh, what's Kylo's little bunch called? The, <laughs> nobody cares because they weren't even in the movies. <laughs> What were they called? Kylo's Warriors. Kylo's, I can't remember. They're that unimportant to the entire phase of the movie. Okay, so as you start adding epic and rare cards and common cards to the decks, so you release more common cards, release more rare, then they're going to show up less frequently as you open scans. So that's something to really keep in mind if Nooch is able to save up another 2,000 gems for next time this comes around and they release like 10 epic cards all at once, it may not be worth it to spend all those gems in a week because you might see less of them. Or actually, if they release that many, you'd see more of them. But you really got to think about the math that way. 
So it doesn't seem like they're going to they're going to release these things with less of a drop rate, but as they add more, there's going to be less of them available in your scans. So keep that keep that in mind for sure. Now what'll happen also over time is as we add events or as we add clans, these cards may become available in other ways, other interesting ways. Maybe you can play an event and you can get a new a new uh, Mandalorian card or or different ways of getting those cards. So they may become available in different ways. So you have to take all those into account when spending your crystals or your hard-earned money. But let's go back and take a little bit more, a little closer look at buying studs, buying units, buying crystals. So again, Nooch said he spent 2,000 crystals and saved that over about two months, and that's about $14 American. So you can buy 3,200 crystals for $20, and you can already have more than two months of crystals right there in your hands. And for 3,200 crystals, you could buy this 100 crystal card, this BB-8 Epic, or whatever's next behind it. You could buy that. You know what? Let's go. We're going to go ahead and buy it. We're going to spend all of our crystals here. So watch. We're going to get 10 BB-8 shards with this purchase, which is a pretty good value for those 10 shards. Now we got 10 Riot Control Walkers. Well, so for 3,200 of those crystals, you could do that 32 times. You could get yourself a whole bunch of epic cards by doing that. You won't be able to control what they are or where they go, but you can definitely boost your uh, boost your deck by with just twenty dollars thirty two times. If you did that for fifty dollars, you could do it eighty three times. So there's one way to spend your your crystals. That way, as we showed earlier, is buying studs. If you want to get a whole bunch of studs real quickly, you could spend fifty bucks and get a hundred thousand studs. And then, so for instance, Nooch has 4,000 studs right now, 4,368 to be exact. And so we can upgrade BB-8 for 2,000. And what does that do? Uh, that increases his damage per second, his damage, and his health. Health doesn't really matter. He's going down with one shot by anybody except maybe Gungans. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade BB-8. So we spent the money to upgrade BB-8, but now we don't have enough studs. We keep saying money, but we don't have enough studs to upgrade, say, our clone tank. So if you wanted to get all those studs real quickly to upgrade those units, it's really up to you to determine the value. But that's the, the value of those saving. You're going to be able to save 2,000 crystals or so in, in Nooch's world over two months. So if you can't wait that two months to save those up and then you spend them on opening scans or you want to spend them, you could buy 20,000 studs for 2,000 crystals. It does not seem like a good exchange there. It seems like you're better off just opening, just playing boosting scans and opening those scans to get the studs. It seems like a better way to get those than, uh, than paying for them, in Nooch's opinion. So, really, from as far as Nooch can see, buying those epic cards with those crystals is the best way to spend them. And maybe you want to buy the studs. So maybe you do want to buy the studs so you can buy these cards. So you can buy cards for 3200 Nooch is not going to buy any of these. Um, you can see we're 50 away from upgrading more often. We would get one for 800 that's not worth it for Nooch at the moment. But if you want to move forward and, and you're, you're close to getting an upgrade and all it would take is a few more studs and you've got the crystals saved up, maybe it's a good time to do it for you. That really becomes up to you. And then there's the cash, the, the cold hard cash. This is $60. There's usually like a $0.99 cent or a $1.99 pack that has some crystals in it, has a few cards in it, maybe has some studs as well. So you'll have to review that and understand where you want to spend your money and, and how that's going to work best for you. Uh, for your deck. We'll see how clans and events work. They may add some more ways to earn crystals and studs for us in the future. We're hoping so, but we won't know till we get there. And that is really the basics. It really, for the most part, it, it's up to you guys. It really comes down to what kind of value do you see with paying to, to, to buy, or pay, paying for crystals and then buying cards with it, or, or, or buying studs, which then buys more cards and or upgrades those cards as well. Nooch is playing with players who have all their cards at uh, 10 and 11 right now, or maybe 12 here and there. So that person has definitely spent um, some, some coin, some money out of their pocket to get those cards at level. And he's just also playing with people that have their cards in the six to seven range. So they're playing free to play and they're having a blast. They're having a good time. You can really enjoy the game at whatever level you choose to. It is all your choice. And, and if you see value in paying for everything and getting those cards leveled up, then do it. 
But if you would rather play free to play and advance at your own pace, you're going to generally get matched up with people at your level. Although right now in the beta, yeah, Nooch agrees, sometimes the matchups aren't great. But when we launch the game and we got millions of players, the matchups should be very even as far as playing people with similar level of cards and similar amounts of trophies. That's all Nooch has for you today. So you're able to see that Nooch was able to spend 2,000 crystals that he'd saved up over a couple of months free to play and was able to get the new cards all up to level 5 and level 6. Now we can start farming them at a more of a regular pace and we'll, we'll level them up over time. But they're very useful cards. We just really enjoyed them. We'll show some more. We'll do some more highlighting of them uh, here in the future. But as far as spending, that is how far 2,000 gems went this week for Nooch. And hopefully you can make some decisions that are the best for you in the future for your game and your deck. That's all we got. But always remember, Nooch too good.